Hi there and welcome to our next video on isotopes. This is a continuation from our last video. In this video, we're going to be looking at exam questions. So let's get started. Our first exam question states, there are two isotopes of element A. Information about the two isotopes is shown in the table below. So as we can see, this over here is a table. Use the information in the table above to calculate the relative atomic mass of element A. Give your answer to do to two decimal places. So, first thing that should come up into mind is the formula to calculate the relative atomic mass. So remember, it's the mass of element A uh, multiplied by the abundance of element A in brackets and we add that to the mass of element 2 uh, times that to uh, abundance of element 2 and we divide the whole thing by a hundred so make sure you have a calculator turn next to you so the mass of the first one is 6 so brackets we put 6 times 92.5 close brackets we add open brackets 7 multiplied by 7.5 close brackets and um we'll press equals to that and we'll divide our answer by a hundred and that should give us 6.07 Five, but it says to two decimal places so this would be to 6.08 and that would be our answer having all the correct working out would give you four marks next question what is an isotope you will get questions like this which are easy one markers so a nucleus with the same number of protons but a different number of electrons no we know that it's the different number of neutrons so it's not going to be that a nucleus with the same number of protons but different number of neutrons yes it will be this because remember an isotope has the same number of protons electrons but a different mass number a different number of neutrons and the last one a nucleus with the same number of neutrons but different number of protons no and that would give you one mark next question copper exists as isotopes explain what is meant by the term isotopes so you have to write this answer out and that will give you two marks so atoms of the same element which have the same number of protons and a different number of neutrons so that would give you two marks the first mark would come when you say atoms of the same element ha have the same number of protons and the second mark would come when you say that they have a different number of neutrons and you will get your two marks next question the table shows the mass numbers and abundances of naturally occurring copper isotopes calculate the relative atomic mass of copper give your answer to one decimal place so remember the formula the mass of element a um, multiplied by the abundance of element A in brackets add that to the mass of element 2 uh, sorry mass of element 2 um, plus uh, times the abundance of element 2 and all of that divided by a hundred so the mass in brackets 63 multiplied 
by its abundance 69 close brackets add open brackets 65 multiplied by 31 close brackets uh, equals 63.62 and then divide your answer by a hundred that should give you 63.62 however the question asks us to do it to one decimal place and this is where people normally lose out their marks so 63.62 rounded to one decimal place would be 63.6 and this question is normally a four marker you have to show all your working out and have the correct answer to get your four marks our final question boron naturally exists as two isotopes boron 10 and boron 11 the abundance of boron 10 is 20 percent and the abundance of boron 11 is 80 percent using these figures what is the relative atomic mass of boron so we have again our mass of element one multiplied by abundance of one and then the same of um, a, a mass of two uh, times by the abundance of uh, the second one all divided by a hundred so typing this into your calculator mass of boron 10 um, is 10 or oh, first open your brackets 10 multiplied by the abundance 20 close brackets add open brackets 11 multiplied by 80 close your brackets equals 1080 and then divide your answer by a hundred it should give you 10.8 so it won't be 10.5 or 11 it would be 10.8 that would be another typical four marker and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe and hit the like button